Hey everybody, thanks for hopping on my YouTube page. In today's video, we're going to use Tableau Prep in order to remove unique values. In this video, we're going to create a dimension table that has customer attributes only. In Tableau Prep, I'm going to show you two different ways you can do this. The first way is um, using the aggregate function. If you're new to Tableau Prep, whenever you connect to your data source, you come in here, um, you can click this plus button. It gives you a lot of different steps that you can use. Uh, for this one specifically, we want the aggregate function here. And then now by default, if we were to come in here and look at the fields that we want, if we group by customer ID and customer name, we now have our unique information. The group by functionality gives you unique values when you're grouping it. So this is just a quick way to do this. Uh, if we would come in here and actually do another aggregate and count our rows, we would see 793 rows in here um, based on our aggregation. Another way you can do this is to actually use a rank functionality um, and keep the top one. So in this example, let's say I wanted to keep the customers that had the latest order date. If I look at the data set in here, we see that Claire uh, has multiple order dates or multiple rows, I should say, in this data set. But I only want one record based on the latest order date. So what we can do is we come in here, create a calculated field, uh, come in here, add a clean step. If we go to here and create a field, come here create a calculated field we could then use the partition and order by functionality so if you're new to partition partition um, if you come to the search bar tableau will explain what partition is doing for you so basically partition it defines the group to apply analytical functions and there must be an order by so in this example we are partitioning by our customer id and we're ordering by the order date descending because we want the latest order and then we're using the row number functionality within tableau prep to then generate a number for us so if we come in here hit apply hit save we now see that based on that we have a rank built out based on an order date so in this example for peter uh, we see that one two three four five we have the order in line with what we want so now all we have to do here is just keep one because we want the latest record create that filter if we come in here if we do another aggregate and count our records we should see 793 records so two different ways to create a unique value data set based on customer attributes. You would do this if you're trying to create a dimension table um, or any type of unique values for your data set. So thanks so much. Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Power Query to remove unique values. Uh, what we wanna do in this example is create a data source with customer attributes only. We have a data source loaded. So let's go ahead and just get just our customer attributes in here. So what we quickly do is click on the two columns that we want. We only want our customer ID and customer name. Click on them. You can select remove other columns. This will then remove all the other information. And now what we can do is we can click on both of these again and we can select remove duplicates. And we should see 793 rows. So this is one quick way to do that. Another way to do it is use the group by functionality. Um, so say we wanted to bring in the customer name and ID based on their latest order date. We use the group by um, capabilities. So what we do is click on the two columns again, um, select group by. We have our customer ID and customer name. We're grouping it. Um, we want to take the max date and we will call this max order date. Uh, and using group by functionality, we will see that we have the latest order date. We can then remove it if we want. We keep it in here. Kind of depends on your preference. Uh, but we see here we have 793 rows. And another way um, is to ensure that we're bringing in all the information when we remove the unique values. Um, I saw this trick. I posted the link in the video, but I saw this in your Power Query. There's this table buffer function. And basically what it does is make sure all your data is loaded into your Power Query. And then when you do that, remove unique values and make sure that it's taking the latest date um, because you have it sorted on descending. So I'll post that, that link in a video. Um, great resource. But here are three different ways to create unique values within Power Query. Thanks.